The last several decades have witnessed tremendous growth in scholarship focusing on Black women's history. Then why is it that so few of us know the names of these often brilliant and tireless women who have done so much to transform our nation and our world? For example, Maria Stewart was an abolitionist and she is actually regarded as the first ever American woman to speak before a mixed gendered audience. She was an outspoken critic of racism and her work on women's rights and women's education predated the more widely known Seneca Fall movements by 20 years. Anna Juju Cooper is another one. She was born only uh, three years before the start of the Civil War and uh, she also challenged racism and sexism in her day. She showcased a wide breadth of academic training in history, philosophy, and religion, among other subjects. She published a book in 1892 entitled A Voice from the South, which should stand as part of the standard curriculum today. Um, and in that book, she argued that it was important to uplift women's roles in society in order for society to move forward. She remarkably earned her PhD at the age of 67. Mary Church Terrell was uh, Anna Judy Cooper's contemporary, and in fact, they both attended Oberlin College. Um, Mary Church Terrell was a prominent leader in the women's suffrage movement, and she presided over the National Association of Colored Women, um, an organization that claimed thousands of members. In 1950, she could be found on a picket line challenging segregation in D.C. at the age of 86. Ella Baker was also involved in a number of organizations. She helped Martin Luther King Jr. manage the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, or the SCLC, um, but she championed this notion of group-centered leadership, uh, so which helped her found a theory that she used to found the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, or SNCC, in 1960. 